Can you hear me? Oh, how about now? How about now? <laughs> I was I was all chatting and talking, and I didn't have my mic on. So I hope you guys can hear me now. Um, da da da. Let me turn my phone down. So as I was saying, yes, if my sewing room was clean, I wouldn't be able to find anything. There is there is like a stack of fabric behind you guys. And then I got like my scrap stuff right here. There is threads and pieces and all kinds of stuff everywhere. But it's my space and it's hard to want to clean it after I've been in here a while. So, yeah, I'm so excited. I used to do these on a different channel. This is, I believe, my first one on here that I'm going to do with you guys. Um, I'm nervous and excited. <laughs> I'm nervous to try something new with you. Um, I don't know how many of you guys want to, you know, like, so or, or interested. Maybe you're just here for the chat. You're like, if you're here for the chat, totally fine. Um can't sub everything is put away it was clean you wouldn't be able to find anything um hey rebel canner self-retired paragon ridge hello two people on a couch y'all we've had a very crazy busy two weeks and the way it's looking it's gonna slow down a little bit but i told patrick maybe we should do more live streams instead of like making videos doing more live streams to show like the actual like stuff we're doing i don't know um, I have to take a call. No problem. Life comes uh, randomly. So I turn my phone down so I, I could spend the next hour with you guys. So I'm sipping my coffee and I have a baby shower tomorrow and I know I'm pushing it. I should have already had this done. But like I said, life has been so totally busy. Um, we've barely been home. So I found these cute cute fabrics so I'm wanting to make a baby quilt out of this um with this as like the border to go around and then this as the backing so um I bought the back I bought the quilting I'm not sure if I'm gonna put it in the reason being it's spring and summer and do we do i want this to be like a light quilt just to cover or do i want this to be a heavy quilt with it being a baby blanket what do you think babe what do you think she'll like that she's having a girl it's her first girl she's got two boys now, i don't know if i'm going to add this in because it's going to make it a little more heavy i might save this for like the fall and because like when you have a like spring quilt you know and it's a baby so is it going to be fluffy soft? Well, if it's for a baby, you want fluffy soft. Yes, that's true. So I'm not really sure if I want to add, add the batting to it. So when I piece these together, so you have to cut this. And then this is going to be the border. Kind of like the um, your quilt. You know, you have the border around the squares. And this is the backing. This is a fleece. They didn't have the minky fabric in our Walmart. So um, I had to get the fleece. So, right. hey, hey, Alicia. Um, it's nice to have pad a blanket to lay baby on the floor. You're right. Okay, let's go with it. See, that's why I'm doing this. I need y'all to help me out to get my brain going. Um, this is what I said. Yeah, you just said it, and I was gonna do it, but then like they confirmed that, like, if you lay it on the, you know, if she's gonna lay it on the floor, then it would be good. I have a new baby cousin on the way, also a girl. I can't wait to make her a quilt because she is nice. Paragon's here. Yes, Paragon's here. She had a phone call. Um, it may outgrow come fall. Very true. Very true. So I'm going to cut these squares. She was on, uh, she, I say she, I call everybody she. And you, picture of a girl. and you say he a lot. Like you connect with the guys and I connect with the girls on here. No, they meant how it's supposed to be. Yeah. So I was going to buy a square. I've got this huge one that I make the other quilts with. So I went to Walmart and I was looking at the squares. I need to go to Hobby Lobby because they didn't have the square size that I want. 
Nobody <laughs> needs to go to Hobby Lobby. They just want, want to, to go to Hobby Lobby. Who needs Hobby Lobby need in their life? to go to the sporting goods store. Well, you know, when we go to the bigger town, we can, like, satisfy each other because I get to go to Hobby Lobby and then up the road is Academy, so. All right. <laughs> So I I have to figure out. See, I haven't even started this. I mean, totally honestly, I'm going to work on it today, possibly tomorrow if I don't get it done today. I have nowhere to be tonight. I'm going to yes, be she, home. She is nice. I'm going to work on this quilt. I'm going to go do some magic stuff. I always need to go to Hobby Lobby. No. Right. Everyone needs Hobby Lobby. <laughs> when they were closed, I felt like my life was over. <laughs> <laughs> During the pandemic, they were closed and everybody was buying up fabric, you know, because the mask pandemic and I don't, I, I made hundreds of masks and gave them away to the healthcare workers. And then I started selling them online because of that started getting expensive. Um, and people were actually donating fabric to me and I would make masks. Um, but everybody was buying fabric up. And those of us that like love to sew, like there was no fabric left for us to like feed our need of like sewing and crafting. And uh, man, I was like, I want this pandemic to be over so that I can get my fabric again. So they are fully stocked, they're open and it's nice. So guys, I'm gonna switch you. Now I have different cameras set up in different locations so that I can work and talk and you guys can see what's going on. I used to do this um, on a so handmade channel that was connected to my business, but honestly, I want, I want everything to fall under the title, This Beautiful Life. Did you let the pigs out? Okay. Um, so... I haven't posted on that other channel in a while, so I thought I'd give it a try over here and see if you guys enjoyed it. So, my fabric store is called Fabricville. I hated trying to find mask fabric online when the store was closed. Yeah, it's just not the same. My fabric stash is gone. I made hundreds of masks for friends and family. Yes, because the demand was overwhelming, was it not? It was overwhelming. Um, and then the kids going back to school, you know, they all needed masks because it was mandatory. So, okay. Pray in the Lord will help this work. So I'm going to switch y'all over to my, wow. oh, look, that one doesn't work. Oh. I got to activate this one. Sometimes it freezes up and it puts me in a weird place. Oh. See, <laughs> it's got me weird. It's got me weird. There we go. Yeah, are we moving? Okay. <laughs> oh, I need to skip this over. So that, this is what I need to figure out guys is the pattern and, um, the size. So do I want to do five inch squares? If I do five inch squares, I need about 65 squares. So if I do that, um, I need to trim off. I'll just do five and five. That's about what a five inch square would look like. Um, I don't know guys. I think I might do a six inch square for a baby quilt. But then the selvage is there. The selvage, you, you can't use the selvage. So I'm going to have to trim that off. This is the part that's hard for me is actually getting started doing this and making sure like everything's lined up because when you start sewing it, if it's not lined up, it's going to be crazy. So I may just see that right there. I don't want to cut that off. Okay. I'm going to have to because I'm probably going to use this part right here. I'll just cut right there. I'll just cut that off and then we'll start right there. Let's do that. Let's do that. I am not a professional. Let me do a disclaimer. I am not a professional. I'm just somebody that likes to sew. 
I like to sew and I want to make sure this is even. Cut that off. Now let's get this squared up. So what would this first six inch look like? Okay. So it's going to cut that off just a little bit, but that'll, I think it'll be okay because we want it all to look different and I want the lines to match up when I sew it together. Oops. I put a new blade on here. I put a new blade on here. So, um, I love this. This is like therapy for me, y'all. It truly is. During the Christmas time, like starting around September, um, online sales are crazy. One year, I had to shut my store down because I couldn't do anything. And I had like neglected my family. <laughs> Bowl koozies were flying out like off my sewing machine. It was madness, y'all. It was madness. Um, hi, Mama. Karen Brown's my mama, if y'all don't know. Um, time is of the essence. Go for six inch. <laughs> right? Yeah. <laughs> I, I ran into my mom when I was picking this fabric out today. She was in Walmart getting some shirt stuff. <laughs> some shirts. She's going to make some new designs. And I was like, I'm trying to get a baby quilt. Baby quilt powder. I just want to make sure I'm getting this trimmed. That's the hard part. Making sure all of this is trimmed up. And then cutting them. So today, y'all, probably, I might not even get to the sewing part. If I don't get to the sewing part, what am I doing here? Y'all make me nervous. Y'all know that? Y'all make me nervous watching me. <laughs> I, cho I chose to do this live instead of making a video. So I think it'll turn out good. I'm, now I'm getting on the groove, so I think it'll turn out wonderful. It'll turn out good. I need to line it up, though, with this... Get some good music going. You get in a rhythm. All right, there we go. Get it lined up. Has anybody got their seeds started? I got my I got my plans ready for my garden. I got all my seeds. Like I got them. Um, actually written down the ones that I have and then I looked at it and then was like what do I need notice I said need because I have so many seeds stashed away um it's ridiculous and I'm like I know I'm not gonna plant all these but I have them <laughs> I have them and my mom had ordered some chickens and I went out to get eggs this morning and I was like, maybe I should start some eggs. Maybe I need to get some of these eggs and put them in the incubator. Go ahead and get some chicks hatched out. Kind of do all the, the spring things. Let's see here. I'm just trying to get this kind of I don't know if anybody's a quilter on here. I don't know how you do yours or if you have any tips you want to share, any thoughts. Basically, getting all of these cut out is, is the hard part. Um, you like seeing new stuff? <laughs> oh, Mom, I know, but um, I can do it. I have gotten a lap quilt done in three days. This is a baby quilt, so if I can get these cut out and sewed, uh, yeah, I'll get it done before tomorrow night. That's my mission. That's my mission. 
It's just we weren't home and um, I was going to go to Hobby Lobby this past weekend and Patrick had to work and we were supposed to go do some other things and then work got in the way and then I ended up not going. So I was like, okay, I don't have any more time to waste. I have to go. <laughs> I have to get stuff for this quilt. And I don't think that's going to be. That one's not quite thick, so I'm not going to cut that. I will get it done. Not on here. Probably not on the live stream, but it's all good. So let me measure down six right here. Cut that straight. If like this was just random, I kind of want to see like what the squares look like. If this was just a random, uh, say if it was just a random material like, um, something like this, I would probably most likely, which I've done before is fold it and do multiple layers. But I'm kind of afraid to do that with this because I want to see what the squares are going to look like and where to cut them. Does that make sense? I mean, I could fold it and do the random squares and then just let it be a random quilt, but I really want to make sure that I'm getting like all the pretty patterns in there. See, so I got two yards of this so that if I cut them, when I know that I'm going to sew the border on right there, it's still going to show the little, uh, thing. So see, Right there, if I when I sew up at the top, it's still going to show. So I want to make sure that I get the squares, um, like the pattern right in the squares. So that's why I'm doing this individually. Otherwise, y'all, I've got all these square pieces, see, like for another quilt that I'm wanting to start. It doesn't matter. I would cut these in layers. Totally, totally, it would save time. Totally save time. Um... Do the incubator can't have enough chickens, <laughs> right, Mom? I could take the the lazy way out, right, and just order them. Isn't that like the easy lazy way? I was thinking about starting my tomato seeds indoors today, but thought maybe too soon. I plan to grow them inside, though. Yeah, I've I've got to. We've got to um, clear off some space. We're gonna move the chickens and things. Um. I wanted to know what kind of fabric that is. It looks like a quilt already made. I love it. Oh, yeah. It's just a, a patchwork. It's just a patchwork. So, but I'm wanting to put this fabric in as like the border in between. So, what that would look like is this. So, here would be one. And then I'll have like for a baby quilt, maybe a half inch strip and then, um, the next little section. So that would be the border and that will be all the way around. So that's why I've got to cut them out and make it my own. But yes, totally. You could buy a patchwork already like this and then just cut it to your dimensions. And then if you wanted to go in and sew quilting patterns if like put the backing on and then um put your back layer on and then just sew it you could totally do that and it would look amazing um and you know what i could have done that but i chose to cut them out individually because i like to make things hard but i really want it i really like the uniqueness of the um the border i really like doing that Did you come back in, babe? No. Ah, I cut that really off. Because I am not left-handed now. I really messed that part up. I know how dare me. I only have two two yards of this. I can't I can't mess it up. I can't. 
Where? It's like going to be 70 degrees today. Yes, it is. Do I smell something burning? Are you sure? Are you sure? I smell something burning. Huh. Okay. You lie to me sometimes, so that's why I was... You fib. You fib to me. Okay. Maybe it's just my iron. What? Oh, okay. There's nothing on fire anymore. I don't think you guys can hear him. So my nose is not deceiving me. Hey, I can smell that. Oh my gosh. Okay. I haven't been able to really smell since last year. <laughs> um, which was one of the side effects of having the virus. And still to this day, I can walk in my house. And I can't smell the house. I can't really smell things. So for me to be able to smell that, um, I am happy. Thank you, Jesus. I'm getting my smell back. Um, it is for a girl, Mom. I had I didn't know this morning, but I found out it's for a girl. Um, love the pink and white stars with it. Yeah, forty-seven today. It's a heat wave. Oh well. Compared to, right? Compared to what it's been. Where are you, Rebel Canners? Where, where are you located? Self-retired. It's 28 and lightly. Ooh, you're still getting snow? I'm so glad we're over that. I feel sorry for y'all. I don't, I don't want no more. I'm ready to grow beautiful things. Small grass fire. Nothing to see here. Babe. If y'all don't know him by now, he's always up to mischief. Always up to mischief. I gotta keep my eye on him. He's a full-time job. Did you hear me? You didn't? You're a full-time job. Actually, Actually, I'm just cutting and cutting. Maybe I should go ahead and do that. Maybe I should go ahead and um, just cut them like I usually cut them. Because this will take a while to get 65 squares. Oh, hey, y'all. I got to show you some stuff. I got to show you some stuff. My, this is my stuff waiting on me, like the stuff that I need to do. <laughs> that pile over there. Let me get back to the headshot. Oh, geez. Hang on. I hate when it does that. It freezes up, y'all. I have to be ready because it's going to screenshot me. Okay, so that thing right here is like my pile of to-do. So I had started this. It's a rag quilt. And actually, it's for my sister. And I should have gave it to her when she was here yesterday. Was it yesterday we did the live stream? So anyway, it's a jean rag quilt with a t-shirt jersey um, backing. It's so soft. And it doesn't have batting because it's naturally heavy uh, because of all the um, uh, jean stuff. So anyway, this is that. I need to give it to her made it for her possibly i was thinking um if she just wanted to put it in her house like hang it as a wall art because you can do that with you know quilts this is just one of the throw size quilts um anyway that's one and then this one i was working on i have got to put the edging on it 
What? Why are you mouthing me? Why are you mouthing me? I gotta put the edging on it. No, I was talking to the people. This one. I don't know if you guys have seen it. It's the Fruit of the Spirit one. And uh, Mama made this for you, but I gotta put the edges on it. <laughs> My unfinished unfinished projects and then Patrick's got me some jeans over here he needs me to sew up and I sewed I mean you wanted me to sew the bottoms huh so I had sewed Jonathan's little jeans up and I sewed them too short and I put them on him and they were like totally like capri looking you know pants on him so I gave up on that I never finished Patrick's <laughs> I was like I'm done. I messed up. I'm done. <laughs> you know that feeling when you're like, I'm done. I'm going to go to something else. It's a picnic quilt. Yes. I like heavy quilts too. I like the weighted of some of the quilts. It's really easy to sleep with them when they're like weighted. So, um, he figured you were busy. He could pull some shenanigans. You are absolutely right. That is what he does. He does it. And then he's got this look. I, when I look at him, he's got a look, and I know he's either going to be ornery or he's ornery. He's been ornery. So, yeah. Yeah. Let's see if this is going to take me back. Oh, it did it again. It always does. I need to get another lap. I need to get another, probably another, um, am I good? Okay. So possibly to speed the process up, I should just go ahead and do layers, probably, probably, possibly. That might be easier since I'm really pressed for time. What is it? What are you mouthing? I can't hear you in here. Huh? You said something. Come and say it. Come and say it. Why not? Will this work? Ooh, y'all, I don't know. Because then I'm going to have all this left. I don't like that. That's a lot of waste. That's a lot of waste. So if I do it on this side, if I do it like this, I could cut the selvage off. Anyway, let's see. I'm gonna go up to six. Do I have any? Do I have any quilters in the live stream? Does anybody quilt? Anybody give me some tips here? Cause I'm still learning. I've only been doing this for like a year. Like I've only been, I've been sewing for two years. I've only been quilting for about a year. Maybe. I'm so very new. So I, I try to like Pinterest sewing ideas and I watch YouTube videos and. Will this work? Um. So if I do this six inch here, and then again here, that's going to give me more. So I may do that. Let's do that. Let's try this out. Let's just do it. Let's just do it. Then I'll get two done at a time. But then the problem is, see how it cuts it off? I don't want to do that. I, I've decided no. I've decided that's a no. We're not doing that. So. Be right back. No problem. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I need to take that daily devotions off. You got, yeah, you got to look. Yeah, you got to look.
Let's see. It's still going to cut it off. It will still cut her off. What would that look like? That won't look bad. That wouldn't look bad, would it? Cut that little person out. That little animal out. But I am going to cut her out of this because I want it to be a solid, a solid six inches. Okay. You have to work this weekend. I don't think we have plans this weekend. I think he's got to work. He's planning himself a um, solo camp trip to try out that little stove that he showed y'all yesterday. What is it? And some other things? Is that what you said? My grandson's been here this week. And he's got to go home tonight. Oh, man. I woke him up this morning and I pulled his feet out of Patrick's back. <laughs> like, okay. <laughs> Two nights of no sleep. Honey, you got to go home. You got to go home so Grammy can get some rest. Papa can get some rest. What time did you get home, babe? Two o'clock. So he had that whole side of his side of that bed till two o'clock. And he didn't want to give it up. <laughs> he will not sleep by himself when he comes here. He will keep himself awake and it's hard. I am still an amateur quilter. I started making quilts in my teens, but I only make them once in a while. Me too. Good morning, Lois. Afternoon. It's kind of in that weird in-between stage of afternoon, morning. Um, yeah. So where's your trip going to be? Like, let's just talk. If we were just talking, like, off camera. Just talk to me. You can't? You can't do it? This is usually our catch-up time when he wakes up. And then he's got to head out to work. And then when he's heading out, I'm heading out. It's kind of a hit and miss. But it's okay. It works for now. Well, babe, I'm, I'm, I'm right here. It's kind of like texting your kids from the bedroom. Or they text you from the bedroom. You're doing what? You know, I can't hear you. I can't hear what you're saying to me. I can't hear. Oh. Trading stocks. Oh. See, this would be such a cute little square. I got to get this one right. This one's cute. And then I'm going to have to pick out the ones that are the cutest and uh, center them. Because, huh? Sure. Do you care? I know you don't even care about quilting, but. I, I care about cuddling with you, too. <laughs> I made you a quilt. I made you, I made I you a. I use it like almost every night. But I need to make another one because they have like Hobby Lobby has motorcycle fabric. And I thought about making you a spring quilt with okay. the motorcycle fabric. You ready to see the cutest one? Sure. This guy. I knew it. I knew you were going to say that. I knew you were going to say that. I am going to head to Mount Magazine and do the trails. Why are there. you going without me? Because I'm going to explore for the teens. I'm like feeling a little bit upset right now. And I'm trying not to be mean to you on camera. <laughs> so there's no evidence? <laughs> you know I like going there. You're not going to want to do what I'm going to do though. Why? Because I'm staying on the trail. We planned to do that together. Then come with me. But I can't because I I, I, want, I don't want to leave the kids at church. Like, I'm their teacher. I, I'm the um, you can children's church teacher. For one Sunday. 
And I take that responsibility serious. Well, you take responsibility as a wife serious and come with me. Wow. Are we going there, really? <laughs> yeah, we are. You can't do this to me. I can't. You can't make me choose. You even stole my stuff out of my, my to-go bag. I didn't steal stuff. Uh-huh. When? When, you when went, did I do this? When you went and done your creek oh, when fishing I took the, fail. When I took the pictures. When I went to take the pictures. Mm -hmm. I um I took those pictures and I sell them as animated wallpaper, y'all. It's pretty cool. Like for your phone. I created I animated them and I make I made it into wallpaper. All I'm taking is Well, I'm not gonna tell. Why not? Huh? Why not? I would do a loadout video. That one's cute. Thank you. Look how it turned out. Like I get so excited about this. It turned out really, like, really cute, right? That's gonna be a cute square. Oh, it's so cute. Uh, yeah, it will be bacon spam. I like the sayings on that material. Yeah, me too. He is doing it on camera so he can get away with leaving on the. <laughs> shame yes. on you! Shame on you! No shame on you. I need some alone time with the wilderness. Oh. Working ten days, eleven days. Yeah, six that days. that is true. Um, he's really worked a lot, and um, one week you cleared about. A uh, well, I'm not going to say, but a lot, like. Well, tell me so I know. It, your deposit was pretty big, but he had to sacrifice for it, you know, to work all those weeks or all those days. <laughs> it was two weeks straight. So. It was two, about two weeks straight. Yeah. So he missed the, all the revival and, and all of it. So. So can I buy a new knife? Do I ever stop you from buying things? Which, you yes. know, we, we are, we are, we got you to said be fruit. You can't spend money because I want. I did never say that. I could hurt you right now. Um, so yeah, he missed all the oh, revival at church and I all the classes. Revived. No, you went to the classes. You you went to the classes That's with me, but now. um, he missed out, and I was like, I was I was praying, Lord, just change the situation because. I'm like the only, I felt like I was an outsider because all the couples were there and everybody knows that he's working, but the thought of like being alone, but God's really teaching me how to be independent without you to. I had a little bit of fear that you was going towards my finger right there. Oh, really? <laughs> I need to be independent um, and faithful, it, being faithful in yeah. the you know, those things. So I really had to learn how to operate and do things without you because we've always done things together. Like we've, we've always done everything together. This? You can come Saturday, hike the trail with me, and then you can come, come home Saturday night and I'll stay on the trail. Yeah, we could do that. And you can come pick me up Monday. So I can take beautiful you can, pictures. You can pick me up Monday morning so oh, I don't have the do option a, to go home. Oh, do a drop off? Do a drop off. Hey, what do you all think? Like, I take him and drop him off and then, like, come back and get him. Like he, Two days later. Yeah. Okay. Who watched the cave, the primitive cave experience that we did? Does anybody watch that? So he wanted my mom to take us and drop us off. Yes. And I... Took authority and said no. <laughs> Is that what it's called? I will not be left here without a vehicle. <laughs> but if you want to so, do it, I'm willing to drop you, can you follow off. Follow me Saturday, or take me up there Saturday. Yeah. We'll hike around. Yeah. And then you just come back so I can be at church. Yep. You go make me that bag so I can use it. Um, yeah, I can, but, but you know what? You got to go with me to Hobby Lobby so you can pick up your material. <laughs> I love it, Lord. So you have to go with me. Hey. <laughs> the things I do, <laughs> try to create my own outdoor gear. 
You have to pick out what you want so I don't make a mistake. It just has to be sturdy and manly like me. Well, you still have to go and pick it out. Right. <laughs> Here, count these. I need to go to a cabin. Well, you can count these. Food anyway. I'm only, I'm only going to take enough supplies for two days and try to make it last for three. Follow your dreams. Follow your dreams. My dream is to live in the woods. Yeah. Like a... I found a picture from when we went to Mount Magazine that I'm going to put on a Tumblr. It's of the moon behind the trees. Oh, that was that was so cool, wasn't it, Mom? Why is the moon so cool and mysterious at the same time? You know what I mean? I'm back! Who is that handsome guy right there? All bearded up and everything now. Yeah, you made me lose count. <laughs> oh, sorry. He's counting He's counting my quilt squares. Get me all. <clears throat> One year, I was so consumed with um, orders, he had to come in here and cut fabric for me. That was about the only time, though, that he's ever done it. I love how they put the buffalo check with the baby colors. So, I had the buffalo check. I think I sold out of that. Actually, I absolutely love that, too. That's a really good idea. I'm wanting to make some more baby quilts. I have another friend or another lady at church that's going to have, you know, a baby, but she's got a little way so I can start thinking this up. Uh, drop off. Self-retired says drop off. I hike the, um, what is AT? That's the best way. 23. That's the Appalachian Trail. Ah, he's been talking about that. He's wanting to do that. That's a dream hike. And so, I'm saving up. PTO for that because it'll take us two days to get there. We've talked about going there and doing that, but working our way up to doing that. Of course, oh, geez, I don't like it. You know I don't like it. You do it to me. Stop. Just he tries to pop my back and I hate it. I was not. No, um, holding thing. So I'm not going to weigh in tomorrow. I'm going to actually wait until next week. Because I don't have a lot of video clips to even make a video because I slacked. So I'm not going to post a weight loss video tomorrow. We'll go hook up with Rebel Canner. I'm only 14 pounds down. I have a long way to go, guys. Um, My sister, me, hey, and my daughter do four days each Paragon? year. My goal is to finish before I die. <laughs> Paragon, were you guys doing the chicken giveaway? The, the black chickens? Is that there? Uh, yes, and um, those are cool. Ridge Life. See, we've really lost track of everybody because we've gotten so busy. We haven't been able to to watch a lot of YouTube. Mm -hmm. No, because when I come in at night, I watch reviews on stuff. Because my goal is to have a side gig going on called Budget Bush Budget Bushcraft. Oh yeah. Yeah, do everything on the cheap. <laughs> That's going to be on, my mom. Oh, that cheap. Needs, Karen, that needs to be another shirt. On the cheap. <laughs> on the cheap. She's getting shirts ready for our festival in town when if we have it. I told That's her, pretty cool. I told her we weren't going to set up because we were going to do the church show. Is, how do we post a link? I mean, the, the giveaway's over, but I think it, those those chickens were just cool. I think people would like to see them. Um, you can go and on your phone and get the, like, copy their... Uh, her channel link and then post it, like paste it in the comments. <laughs> Not this guy. Yeah, you can. I'll teach you. Bring me your phone. I don't want to learn. Oh. <laughs> wow. Okay. That's what I got you for. Oh, Jesus, help me. I will cook, kill stuff, skin it, grow it. You do the technical stuff. Yeah, boy, you know, I don't, my, my schedule's not, like, real busy next week. So, I'm really excited to go out there and um, start on the garden area. And, yeah, I need um, to pick up some buckets. Uh, follow your dreams. And I just Porter cut the Valley. S off. That was the other one. So. Sugar Feather Farms. I, got I haven't to, got to watch any of their videos. I don't even know if I'm... Are we subscribed to them? I don't know. I don't think so. We probably need to be. We need to catch up with our friends on YouTube. Mm -hmm. I kind of stepped away from some channels that had just gone weird. We share the same account, so we watch the same... Like, we share the this beautiful life. You so. can... If you, we need to videotape our uh, history so people can see... All the different things that... 
Yeah. We watch. Because I'm barbecuing outdoors, and she is the homesteading and... I, I like to watch preaching stuff? and sewing and homesteading. All that kind of stuff. That's not too bad. Yeah, I, I it, cut that off. Paragon, anything free is worth saving up for. How many squares did I have? Did you forget how many squares I had? Okay, you talk and I'm going to count. Yeah, some channels try to get too many channels going, if you know what I mean. And I, I like the homesteading, the building, and stuff like that. Like seeing people's farms and their gardens, their animals, especially their animals, because someday I will get goats. Right, baby? Are you going to take care of them? Who takes care of the pigs mostly? Me. You have lightly, but usually. <laughs> I tell you to not go out there and feed early. I'll feed them and you do it anyway because... It's routine. I've got a long way to go. How long has it been since you walked the fence? I don't walk the fence because you don't let them out. You haven't let them out yet. Yeah, they're still out there. He goes out there. That's why you don't walk the fence. He's ornery. He's not mean and aggressive. He's just... Um, so, I went to get feed this morning and they loaded the wrong feed. What? Yeah, they were, they were loaded uh, cattle pellets. You're kidding. So, and Hugo is good. Does he like them? He likes okay, them. Okay, well. And I like it because I can feed them one at a time because they're like the size of my finger. How about Heidi? Does she like them? Yes, yeah, she does. She's able to get to them before Hugo gets them all laid up. That's the problem is um, he eats the food and he doesn't share. I went out and fed this morning. I Par have three Paragon, eggs I, not, can't, I couldn't get because they were stuck in my read, poop. You need to read your comment. We couldn't agree more. We're, we're not into stuff like that. Yeah. I'm out of the drama too. Don't have time for it. Just want to be wholesome channels, right? Just good, wholesome channels. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And stick yeah. to what the reason you got on there for. You know, Ignore that daily devotions, guys. I'm so sorry about that. Um, 20, 23. See, she, she got me. Huh? 23. The quilts. Yeah. I have a long way to go. I have to do 65. <laughs> I'm going to take a nap. <laughs> oh, that sounds good. I don't. I can't afford to do a nap today. Karen, you can have the animals. You just keep them out here. We're extending our, we have some unused land. We're going to extend out. We should have your mom out here to help us extend the fence. Mom needs to come do a live stream with us. Yes. She probably won't. But yeah, Miss Karen, you're being called out to do a live stream. Just like Amber came over. Dog. She came over yesterday, did not know we were about to go live. She was just bringing some clothes for the grandkids. I still swear she said cake is money. Nah, ha, ha, ha. Wait, that's wrong. Whoa, Whoa. <laughs> we're, we're doing two different sizes? Um, no, I'm trying to cut on this line right here because I want to sew along that. I'm trying to be particular about the squares so they look right. Yeah, so I only got a few more minutes. So we're not going to finish this yeah. quilt today. See, we're getting good <laughs> tips from people, a common thing. Um, now we do share a channel, so it's our our theme's not both, so common. It's both of what we both like. Mm -hmm. I'm going to start getting more outdoor stuff on put on uh, fishing season, fish it, fi fishing, fishing season season is upon us. Is upon us. Ooh, a pumpkin patch. That could be good. Yes, we're actually, I want a pumpkin I, we, patch. We're an accidental pumpkin patch. Oh, you? let me get my garden plans. Can I show them really fast? Where's my garden plans? It's your live stream. You can do whatever you want. As long as you keep it clean. This is scary. It's like all sweet and nice and then deadly. Oh, let's do it. Yes. Let's do a top Kyle piece. said time for fishing. He's been catching a lot of nice fish. Ah! Hang on. See, I gotta do something different here. It won't activate. You have to activate it. So either. Oh, 
they're gonna hate that so I've got it all planned out wait this is hard anyway kind of how I want to do it and now I got to go mark it off so I am excited and this is all this the seeds that I have and the ones I need to get Ooh, I just had an idea so I am excited I know some of you are excited too to start your gardens and get your plants going and everything's gonna be turning green and it's gonna be so amazing I have an idea a lot of canning gonna happen I have an idea what Kyle has started his own channel yeah so we're, we're gonna get the link and put it on there for everybody and I want to do a fishing challenge we're gonna go visit them they're going to be one of our SUV tours. I want, I want to summer. do a fishing challenge with Kyle. When we go or no, separate? Separate. Separate videos. <gasps> My battery's getting low, guys. I'm going to have to get off. Uh oh. And uh, what we'll do is like have like a three hour time limit mm -hmm. and go to your favorite fishing spot and see who can catch the most fish. Oh, yeah. Within a certain time? Within three hours. Cool. Yes, no so I'm drama. I want to challenge Kyle to a fishing video. Yep. We're not, we've never really put our drama on here ever, have we? Have we ever? Yes. When? At the beginning. Oh, when we were just coming out. We were just giving history about our background. Time. Yeah, but just want to keep it simple. And I might just plant flowers this year. That's cool too. Plant something. See, right. <laughs> you need to do a canning video with Rebel Canners. Plant Rebel something. I mean, it's in her name. Yeah, it's in her name. I'm trying to read through these comments here. Yeah. Yeah, my pumpkin, which got me on that was my pumpkin patch is like, this is the sunflowers and corn area. And then I wanted my pumpkins to grow out into our field, mom, you know, like grow down the hill in our field back Actually, here. Sometimes it goes pretty quick when the fish are, now if the fish aren't biting. Yeah, three hours it, it in could. one spot is a long time. So you have three hours in one location, is, maybe? Yeah, one location, because then you have to really be picky about where you go. Yeah. Get your squares cut. Show us how it turns out. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to have to get off. Uh, of course, we've been on here an hour. You guys are amazing that you're on here with us. Um, so. Uh, no, one, one location. like uh, Because I'll be at a creek. So it'll be up and down the creek. By the creek morning. or the lake? Oh, I'm going to the creek, baby. Oh, the river? Yeah, I'm going to get me some brown trout. It's the difference between where you go trout fishing and where you go creek fishing. I don't know. I could do trout or I could do brownies. Small mouth. Well, maybe you and Kyle can get together and talk about it. I think the trout would be good because I think he has trout up there. Ah, yeah. So we so. can kind of keep the fish the same because yeah. I, he, I think he, he catches all kinds of stuff. Oh, well, it's a... Okay, it's I'm going to uh, get off here and I'm going to go start my Yeah, defense. green beans, all that stuff, you know. I'm still trying to figure out what I'm going to do. What I'm going to do because I want to make sauces and, you know, all this stuff and can it up and just put more away than what I've done in the in the past and be, um, what's the word? Uh, not, I don't know, be more aggressive. That's not a really good word. But you know how you can get lazy in your gardening, especially toward the end, and you're like, I'm just going to let it go. It'll be fine. I'll just let it go. Well, I don't want to do that this year. I want it, I want it to grow out and get the fullest of it, especially because of the way things are, you know, and some of the, the past experiences we've had with food shortage and then what's happening with our food and not trying to be scared about it, but just, I know, I gr if, if you grow it, you know what it is. <laughs> anyway. You guys are amazing. I'm going to say goodbye. My battery is like critically low. And this is just what I'm going to do the rest of the afternoon until I got to go to the school. Um, you guys are amazing. I'm going to click off. Um, and when I get this done, I'll show you all what it looks like. Okay. <laughs> In late July, let it go. Right? When the heat of the season's coming and you're just, yeah yeah okay guys you're amazing have an amazing day bye